Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. It is our Canva collection release week. We have released a new product line that is geared toward making bullet journaling easy and fun so that you can plan and record and organize your life in a beautiful way. So we're marrying bullet journaling with stamping and we call it Cambo or Camboing. <laughs> so here is, uh, hold on. Here's my, here's the real one. <laughs> well, hey guys, hey Linda and Andrea and Laurel. Laurel had a video up today. Um, she has been playing a lot with the Canva and using different mediums on it. People have been asking a lot of questions about what works in here. One of the great things about this journal is that the ink does not bleed through the paper. So we have a whole line of little mini ink pads that work great with your Canvo. If you do not have Catherine Pleur inks yet, you're totally gonna need to get them because they're amazing and I'll show you why. But if you have other inks on hand and they are water-based, they should be just fine in your journal. Um, Copic and alcohol markers probably are not gonna work too well with this because Alcohol markers are made to soak through your paper because soaking through the paper helps them blend. If they don't soak through the paper and dry when they hit the paper, they're not gonna blend together. So just the nature of an alcohol marker it makes it not great for most papers that you don't want it to soak through the back. <laughs> I love that you guys are popping in here and commenting. Hey, Charlotte from Denmark. You're gonna have a more professional video up tomorrow, Laurel. Wonderful. Robin, I am excited to hop on this bullet journaling adventure with you. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, oh, Laurel, live under a rock, you're so funny. <laughs> so mini stamps, you do not need necessarily mini stamps for the Canvo. Um, this page here was done with our leaf motif stamp set. It's just a stamp set that we created for card making and look at how amazing it works in your Canvo. Um, let's see, okay. So I did this one, um, I did the future log, I have a video on that, I have a video on this and I wanted to show you what comes in the starter pack. So when you purchase the starter pack, hold on, coming back, <laughs> you can either get the Doodle Garden, which is our signature journal, or you can get the Aquatini cover, which is more classic and kind of modern. And then on the inside, we have the plaid paper. We have the cute little diamonds in the back. Doodle Garden on the inside in case you want to color it. We have the little flowers here in the back, super cute. The cover, this is laminated because one of our prototypes, look, this has been in and out of my purse, in and out, in and out, in and out, look at that. It is getting beat up. And I know a lot of you guys use this kind of as a journal or a scrapbook. So I figured it was best to get a very durable cover. Um, Honestly, I've not tried this with Sharpies. I don't know if it works, but generally you're not gonna be able to color it, I don't think. This is laminated, it's very uh, pretty thick and heavy, and it's pretty darn durable. We added this in for those of you that do want to color. So we tried to hit it, hit everybody. <laughs> uh, let's see. If you buy the starter pack, this we haven't really talked about too much yet, but you get it in this adorable box look at this how cute is this <clears throat> on the inside we have a little message there but the starter pack is $97 and you get the journal you get the foundation minis you get the black or the midnight and the icing on the cake if you're new to Catherine Puller inks make sure you watch my video that talks about how to use this ink because this is our ink that stains so you got to be really careful and very gentle when you're inking your stamps with the midnight and then the three stamp sets so we have the months and doodads with the fun little flowers and whatnot we have days of the week with these fun banners and the circle and square bullets and then oh my gosh this is very popular stamp set you guys you're loving this one the clipboard let me show you the spread that i did with the clipboard Look at how cute that is. <laughs> this is my weekly spread. I just stamped those clipboards 
Easy peasy, four on each page. I have Monday through Sunday and then an extra one for to-dos. Hey, Joy, how's it going? I'm just gonna read real quick. Practice papers are not the same. They are very thin. It's just for practicing, so you don't have to worry about messing it up. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Stencil is coming out soon. We are going to tell you about it on November 12th. Yeah, Andrew, you're going to love the concept of bullet journaling. It is whatever you want it. So you don't have to have all these pieces of paper flying around all over the place with, with to-do lists and different schedules and all kinds of sorts of things. And it's a great place to journal. And let me show you what I am starting to do. One thing that I'm working on as my kids get older is my own personal social life. <laughs> so I did November and December fun. And then I took that little steno pad. How cute is that? I just stamped out a bunch and I'm gonna redo this. I kinda have two journals going, you guys. This is one that I'm kind of playing in and practicing and there's some secret private things in here, <laughs> mostly around product that's coming out so you guys can't see it. And then this is the one I'm doing as I go like creating for my YouTube channel. So um, this spread I am going to redo in here and I'm gonna make it all super cute and fun and I'm gonna do November with like a leaf fall theme and I'm gonna do December with a Christmas theme. Terry wants to know if there will be classes on Stamp Nation for newbies. I think we totally should do that. If you are new and you don't know what Stamp Nation is, it is our fantastic site that it's $9 a month or $9.95 or 27 for a quarter, and you get classes and tutorials and a really great community of stampers and crafters to hang out with. We have challenges and pen pal swaps and all kinds of fun stuff over there. And if you guys are interested in some special bullet journaling videos over there, we will fill that need for you. <clears throat> okay, so then if you get the starter pack, you're probably also gonna need the Life of the Party minis. So these are the two collections that we have out right now. You're gonna need some Zig Blender pens. Laurel, tell them about the Zig Blender pens. She's used a lot of different ones and never liked them until I turned her on to this one and then she came into the clubhouse over the weekend and stuffed her shirt full of them and almost wiped us out of inventory until I caught her. Made her put them all back, didn't I? <laughs> and then these, the Micron pens, you totally need these. Um, the one, three, and five are a perfect kind of variety. And then the Canvo practice page, it's gummed at the top. It has the cardboard backing, and this is the same dot grid, and it's double-sided. And this is thin, lightweight paper so that you don't worry about messing up. Just practice here, and then go into your Canvo. So... If you're like me, it took me a bit to kind of get used to it, um, kind of how to work with the dots and the numbers and the grids and stuff, so don't be afraid to practice. I have a page here that I was doing, not very decorated. It's just videos that I have um, coming up. Some of them are already published. Some of them are coming, so if you read closely, you'll see some peaks. But I thought as long as I had you guys here, I would stamp something on here. So let's see. Colors. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. I think I'm feeling like Tutti Fruity. Let's see. Tutti Fruity Tiara. Laurel, are you going to tell them about those zigs? She loves them. Laurel, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have this Simply the Best uh, stamp set. Um, this is what happens with the Midnight Ink. If you push down too hard and smush your stamp all into the pad, it gets all over like this. So don't do that. Don't be like me. Just a really light tap, tap, tap. Laurel likes to call them love taps. You don't need to push hard at all. I've used these so much they're losing their stick. If you're new to stamping, just take this to the sink wash it with soap and water and dry it and it will get its stickiness back. It's not really sticky, it just kind of, <clears throat> the photopolymer to the acrylic, it just, it sticks, it clings. That's the word I'm looking for, it clings. 
All right, so I'm going to do Tiara and Tutti Frutti. So here's our ink pad. It is a foam ink pad. A lot of you have asked if this is the same ink as our large size ink pads. They are, they are the same. The only difference is the size. They're exactly the same. There you go. Foam, they're squishy. Again, I'm like a broken record. If you push down too hard, it's gonna get all over the place. So you're just gonna go tap, tap, tap. And then I'm gonna take Tutti Frutti. And then I'm gonna get a little blender. I'm gonna blend out between the two colors. And then I'm gonna stamp. So cute. Ah, so cute. Now I wanna do a little party dress. <coughs> Excuse me. Laurel had a video earlier where she was hoarse. I'm a little bit too. I think we just partied a little bit too much this weekend. And when I say partying, I mean talking, gabbing, stick. We really actually did not stamp that much, but we talked a lot. Didn't we? Didn't we, Laurel? <laughs> YouTube says you're talking too much and need to take a break. They keep rejecting my chat. <laughs> you know what? Um, you may know I got a new car recently, and I don't know what triggers it, but once in a while it gives me a little pop-up, a little warning, so to speak, and it says, you may need to take a break. <laughs> it, has, it has like a picture of a coffee mug come up, and I'm like, what? I don't know what that's about, but when I took a trip to New York, it told me that a lot. I was kind of getting a little cross with it. I don't know why I was doing that. Okay, I am looking for my midnight. Let's see, here we go. Okay, midnight, I said gentle. This one, I previously was not gentle with. So it's just a light tap tap. Now when you are stamping in your Canvo and you're going to the edge, it's really convenient if you wanna turn your page over, put your stamp all the way to the edge so that you can get next to that spiral binding. Light tap, tap, stamp. Light tap, tap, and a stamp. And then I have my little heart. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? So fun. I wasn't planning to do this, obviously, when I made this page, because I did these guys. But I thought as long as I had you here, I would add some stamps. Nobody needs a lecture from their car. That is right, Terry. <laughs> you know I love that car, but if it keeps lecturing me, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe I'll go up a little too. Light tap tap. Foam ink pads transfer ink to stamps beautifully, so it's really super easy to ink your stamp up and get a full solid stamped image. Let me zoom you in a little bit. You can see how solid that image is. No splotchiness. <clears throat> okay, and have you guys followed our Canvo bullet journaling Instagram page? We've got that up and running. There, that's cute. So fun. I was gonna show you something else. What was I gonna show you? Oh, if you're new to stamping, usually I just have a paper towel, tap it off or dab it off until it's clear. Some I get inky fingers because I do this all the time. Just peel it off of your block. You need these blocks. <laughs> and then just add it right back onto your imaging sheet. So just like that. And then I'll do this one. You might wanna get a little spray bottle Spray down your paper towel, dab, 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 pull this off the block, and then add it back to the imaging sheet. I'll do this one too. And that's it. 
This this best, uh, Simply the Best, is that what it's called? This is a really good one for bullet journaling also. We have actually a lot of stamp sets in our collection already in our shop that are gonna be amazing for your bullet journal. So the stamp sets that we did have made or we created specifically for bullet journaling, we made sure they fit on these three blocks here. So our round, our small, and then whatever size this is. Where is... It is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay. <clears throat> Lynn, that's hilarious. Yes, Terry, you I'm sure have a ton of stamp sets. If any of you got the Celebrate Friends collection in January or the Tropically Yours from this summer, those collections are going to be amazing for bullet journaling. And then the ones from Tropically Yours this summer, all those quotes, because a lot of people like to put inspirational quotes in their bullet journals. And so, yeah, that is going to be really great for this. Sherry, I know the first bullet journal I had bled through like crazy and it was very annoying. Secret room info. Mm-hmm. <laughs> back of the page that I just did. What is there? Shows to watch. Okay. I need to make this cute. Shows to watch movies and books. I started it. I got to make it cute. Yeah. So that's that. You guys have any questions before I scoot out? I got to run and do some dance carpooling tonight. And speaking of dance carpool, yes. Schedule right here at my disposal, very back page, because I need to reference that pretty much every day. I never know when the girls need to be there because their schedules are different every single day. <laughs> Is there a pocket on the back cover? So Karen, I was very tempted to put a pocket back here, but if you put a pocket back here and you put papers in there and then you try to stamp here, it's not gonna work. So I resisted the urge to do a pocket. I hear you but just because I wanna stamp in my Cambo, it was not gonna work. <clears throat> if you guys missed the little videos that we've put up, go to katherinepooler.com slash Cambo. We have a fun little overview video that we did. I did a flip through. I did the future log and a November spread. You can see that all there. <clears throat> all right, well you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, if you are a Stamp Nation member, we are having a holiday card along right now. We are going to go live tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern, and I am going to do some stamping, and I am going to play along with the holiday card along myself, and I hope you'll join me. If you're not a Stamp Nation member, you're going to want to join because it's amazing. <clears throat> we are a really great positive, supportive, creative, uplifting group of women that love paper crafting. And we have tutorials and challenges and classes and lots of fun events over there. So katherinepooler.com slash stamp nation. And then the Instagram for Canvo is Canvo Bullet Journaling. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys soon. Have an awesome night.